does no longer... You're a ah, let's start again. So, mono eye control, built around the great fundamental of prison. Yes. Uh, basically, I like to tell people they don't get to play magic anymore. <laughs> After the beginning with, you don't get to target me, followed by, you don't get to damage me with this card. And then, you can't do that, because it costs more. And now you don't have a graveyard. And, by the way, you can't cast cards. And, so, or attack oh, me. You really much, can't attack me. How many lands do you play? Oh, not 58. Cool, you can't attack me either. <laughs> And then eventually killing them slowly, painfully, with either angels, Heliod, or clerics. Because occasionally Heliod gets parved. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully you're able to like, nick those, and then make a dudes. It's horrible. Uh, people hate you for playing it. Uh, quite often my uh, opponents will sit there and be like, my god, you should do nothing but hate playing on people. And I'm like, I just, it greatly dislikes other people getting to play magic, other than me. Uh, because it's horrible to play well, against. Like, it has... Look at this deck. It has four, like five win conditions. It has Sigil and Heliod. Like this, this is how you win the game. <laughs> you you don't win the game with all of these cards. Like there are fifty five other cards in this deck. These five win you the game. These ones facilitate you drawing one of these cards, especially especially Endless Horizons, which is just OP. No deck. I imagine wins more games without drawing a win condition than this deck. Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes you do just win like we did on turn zero. You just like lay <laughs> line and they're like, game, I actually can't beat you. Like, I played against burn decks without creatures. Like, just the mono burn deck. And they're like, uh, yeah, uh, I can't I can't stop you. And it's like, no, I know you can't. Um, I see some people like KCI has Erase in the board. And when they swords to Plowshares Heliod and you get nothing, you're like, really? Oh, damn it. That's quite fun. Um, but yeah, you just get to shut down so many decks. It's a hate deck. It's a hate bears deck without bears. It, it's uh, mono white hate bears. Uh, so like you've got Porphyrinos to hate on the creature day stacks, and I will point out against Zoo where they have to play creatures. Porphyrinos does not leave play for a very long time. <laughs> like they go first and they go like Fetch Shark Nakatel, and you just play like a Scryland, and they're like yes Fetch Shark Goif three, and you're like cool nodes, and they're like I still need to attack and play dudes. So they started playing Lone Lines and Curtis. <laughs> and he was like, dead, 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 and play a stack of nodes and something like main board, and they're like, come on. They can't bolt you, they can't heal at you, they can't do anything against you. And eventually you've killed all the creatures, nose disappears, and you're like, you can't attack me either. Heliod? And he probably dies. Because there's either like three paths in hand waiting. <laughs> um, or I've had someone triple helix him to gain nine. Because he's indestructible, so they're just pointing the helixes out to gain life. But then like in the two drop like main board rest in peace. Living End, Maliripod, if they try to combo. Yeah. Uh, KCI. Like, they can't beat Rest in Peace, main board. Like, game one against Living End. First of all, against Living End, Rest in Peace is just a win. They actually can't beat you. Suppression Field also shuts down Cycling. <laughs> it shuts down Planeswalkers. It shuts down literally. Fetches. Uh, it's just fetches are the best one. You like play him, someone has like a fetch out, and then like, I'll break it in a turn. You guys in turn, they're like, what? Oh, <laughs> damn it. Um, it's fantastic. It's fantastic against Tech Edge, which because you're playing Mythos, yeah. you do care about. Um, it's fantastic versus Ghost Quarter out yeah. of, say, Affinity. Against Affinity, it's hilarious. Yes. Because it hits uh, Steel Overseer, Argon Ravager, the Man Lands. Plating. Yeah, Plating, Cradle Plating. Uh, it makes Blink Moth Nexus three mana to give an Ink Moth plus one plus one. So Ravager. to do it, they have to have uh, six mana. Seven have to mana. pay two mana. Yeah, two mana for Ravager. Ravager. Um, and a couple of other little bits in that. Yeah, day. I imagine Special Field just. It's basically it's, stone. It's silence. nearly a win. But it's basically stone. Yeah. Silence. But the problem here is affinity floods, and they can then start paying for you to do things. Also, it does not affect Mox Opal because it is mana ability. Yes. <laughs> if Mox Opal was two mana tap, make a mana, it would be the weirdest filter ever. Uh, Rune Halo is ridiculously expensive on Modo and in real life actually, uh, but it's fantastic. So yeah. many times you're just like, eh, this thing. I have actually survived two Emrakul hits with Rune Halo and naming Emrakul. Because I just had Helio out. So I was just making more enchantments to sack yeah. to it. Just like not taking any damage, just sacking clerics. And then I killed him. I was like, right, well, you're trying to make more clerics and kill you. He's like, oh, damn. I'm like, yeah, Nick, those plus Helio's a bit OP. But, like, Ghostly Prison is. Prison? Like, I'm actually pretty sure that's where it gets its name from. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because it's old. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. Two mana to attack in modern, especially. When you play on turn three, and they're like, uh, play against Merfolk, it's amazing if it resolves. If it resolves yeah. against Merfolk, you're probably winning. Yeah. The problem is Merfolk just doesn't let things resolve most of the time. Uh, at least it's not a two drop to get spells net. Uh, so many times you'll play like a rude Halo and be like, oh, I'm going to name Pestum. Oh, I got spells net. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to name a card that actually wins in the game. Oh, there we go. But uh, O Ring, 
the literal casual answer to everything. Better than Banishing Light, because um, occasionally people make mistakes and do it in response to truth, and you get them really hard. Uh, that's fun. Uh, Nevermore is OP in so many respects, because so you will often actually name the card that they use to get rid of Nevermore sometimes. After board, you're like, I know they're probably going like Revoke or uh, Disenchant. You name it, and they're like, Azure, and then you name the problem. Leyline, as you saw, wins games. Oh. You play Leyline and people just scoop. Because, and, like Some people will respond and be like, seriously, you main with Leylines? And you're like, yeah, because I win. Uh, I play Leyline, and if you look at like, the spells in one, you've got Bolt, Helix, Thoughtseize, Inquisition. Like four mainstays of the format. Do nothing. Anymore. Yeah. Probe uh, does nothing. It stops Melira comboing. It stops what? Comboing you for... It, it stops for comboing for damage. Yeah. The problem is the life gain, because you can deck them if you haven't cast Endless Horizons. Yeah. Endless Horizons is fantastic. It is, I, I'll describe it as but every the... every time they activate Pod as well. Yeah, it is card. true. With Suppression Field out, that's two mana each time. Yeah. And Endless Horizons is a problem, because it sometimes decks you, because you're like, I'm ahead by three cards, Endless Horizons have ten planes. Damn. And then they stop like searching up and stuff. It's really nice. Uh, Sphere of Safety is obscene. Yeah. As as we proved again, where you're like, oh man, I think we're just oh, for safety. You can't attack, sweet. Uh, in multiples, that card is horrible. Yeah. Like you, you haven't quite seen the definition of why this deck gets hated by so many people just by looking at it until you've played against sphere of safeties and attacked, and it's like you need to pay twenty nine mana or twenty eight mana, and you're like, I can't do that. And it's like, yep. Yeah. I don't have that much land. I've seen Storm attack with three goblins through it by comboing again by casting Passing Flames first main phase. And then using all the instant speed rituals to do me for three. I'm like, okay. And it's just to prove a point. And it's like, okay. Uh, Heliod, as already said, is mental. Plus, he makes enchantment tokens. Which, with Sphere of Safety, uh, is hilarious. And this deck, it's literally impossible not to have Heliod turned on if you have enchantments in play. Because literally everything in here has like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eleven, uh, fifteen cards have double white symbols. And unfortunately for Reese, uh, it does not trigger sig uh, Sigil at the MT3. Making, paying 4 mana does not give you a 2 1 and a 4 4. That would be insane. And then so yeah, Sigil, which is legacy playable is in it? Enchantress. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is actually how I found about sweet. it. I was trying to build an Enchantress deck in modern. I was like, it doesn't work. And then, like, a day later, I saw this and was like, like, the base of this list. And I was like, okay. I wonder what would happen if you actually built it properly. Because I like knew about Suppression Field and Prison from EDH. Yeah. It's like, okay, so play this. And then I saw someone else like, Porphyry Notes. And I was like, dude, the art on that is amazing. And then read the card. And was like, <gasps> okay, that works. Yeah. And sometimes you will have like three signals out and you will just play a Porphyry Notes. Just to get three four fours. You're going to kill one, probably. If your opponent has nothing. But who cares? You've got eight mana. you got 12 power, really, for one mana. And then you get a sideboard of delightful hate and occasional conditions. So you get three Stony Silence for the obvious deck everyone has to hate on by law. And three Kotaku. Like this is this is the weird one because as we said, like suppression field is a problem for this like for affinity. But when you go like I've won games on affinity on turn two by going turn two Kotaki. And then the next game I won by going turn two Kotaki and him not skipping because he had a good uh, good play and then just went to Stone Sons. And his had his play was double dark steel set down mox like a spring leaf drum. Yeah. And it's like you can't make mana. Like you can't tap. And he just like Goes to upkeep, everything dies in his scoops. It's like, yeah! Uh, Tony reinforcements. It used to, like, this entire cycle used to be 5 3 offs. It used to be 3 Katagi, 3 uh, Tony reinforcements, 3 rest in fees. Um, but I went to 2 Tony reinforcements, mainly because Leyline is so good against the Burn decks, which is actually when you care about the Rafter God, um, Timely. And they have Skullcrack and other things, so when you don't have Leyline. Yeah. And that can be. Some of them also got like, Leyline Punishment. Do you not think maybe a third Timely of a. Six of the artifact paint. It's a possibility, but this is so incidental in so many matchups. Like some like decks have swords, and they actually can be a worry if they get through. Like you saw when they had the War and Peace. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a worry because like I generally have cards in my hand. Um, timely is fantastic. I might just take out a Kataki at some point. I have a third timely reinforcement. So um, Wrath of God is a better Day of Judgment. It's like the original. So yeah. I can't get originals on here. Oh. I can't get Quinton Hill. Yeah, I the artwork on this is glorious, but I prefer the Quinton Hoop one. It's the Wrath of God. Yeah. It's just the battlefields true with dudes that are light. It's like, although I would like the full art. If anyone like watching wants to donate three full arts to me, I will take them and run. 
because they're glorious. Um, Assemble the Legion was added upon suggestion of James Gunn. He was like, why don't you play it as a joke? And then I was like, actually, it's an enchantment. And it wins me the... Why am I not playing that card? <laughs> and so I put... I, I picked up two online. I had, like, this deck originally played Temple of Enlightenment because I had all Temple of Enlightenment from drafts and I hadn't sold them yet because I didn't want to trade away all my modern decks. Because no matter what I did, bots kept trying to buy all my modern decks. It's like, no, I just want to trade Temples. And it's like, I don't see anything I want. And I'm like, you do. Um, but I eventually managed to get it to trade and picked up four Temple of Triumph, Assemble of Legions, and a bunch of ticks because Enlightenment's worth. So, but... Uh, it's just such a win condition because you play it and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. It's like you get a blocker and then you get two blockers and then you get three attackers. <laughs> and they're, but they're not enchantments. I wish they could be. Oh. Like, if they were enchantment tokens, oh my. Um, then I think they'd be an Assemble the Legion Sphere of Safety deck in standard. I would be playing that deck in standard. Um, Sony Silence is obviously fantastic and Rest in Pieces just more uh, hate for those decks. Um, what do I say? I mean, against the big deck, so you've got like. Malirapod. Like, like the attrition based deck, you've got Jund, Malirapod, and. Uh, what, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Uh, tokens. Because it is basically an attrition based deck. Uh, you probably take out like some number of porphyry nodes. Well, probably not against tokens actually. Against like Jund, the, the, the proper mid range decks, Jund, you st I uh, think Dega. You'd, you'd still want two though, wouldn't you? Yeah, you still want some number, but you don't want four. Because sometimes you draw them into be like, god damn it. Um, Against Jund, uh, rest in peace is a must because of Goyf. Yeah. It just becomes a not one, uh, and it, they can't really get rid of it. Except for Abrupt Decay, and you have Nevermore for that, and it's one of the things you have to name. Uh, you also bring Wrath of God in against those decks because they are creature based uh, attrition decks, especially for Maleripod because uh, they actually treat kill you through damage now, not combo. Yeah. And you Wrath, and they're like, oh, great. Especially if they have their one Malira in play. And you get to Wrath it. Yes. I, and in that match, I will also bring in Assemble. Because the game is going to just drag so long that I've had Assembles at 14 before wow. I've won the game. Like, you just have all these tokens in play and you like don't want to attack just in case. So what else do you sideboard out then? Against like uh, Maliripod and Jund, I will generally side out uh, a Oblivion Ring or two against Jund. Because they can just <laughs> remove it. Yeah. If you think after Cyborg they actually probably will have like a Golgari Charm or something, yeah. or two, uh, then this deck is actually a real liability. You, like, I don't think I've ever signed out Rune Halo. No, because it, like, it's just insane. Like You just get to name so many things. Like, one of the things against Storm is you play Leyline after board, and they can just Echo and Truth it, but you just play like Rune Halo naming Grape Shot, and they're like Echo and Truth. I've had a guy kill himself with Grape Shot, because he Echo and Truth my Leyline, and then used the copy from Pyromancers to bounce... Um, like a Heliod or something just like he has something to bounce and so he just grape shots and kills himself because I have pro grape shot and it's like you really but I was like okay GG but um, you also get like against uh, the Agrodex Burn Zoo uh, Kith King <laughs> Wait, what are the other real Agrodex in this deck in this one well, you got Big Zoo and Little Zoo Goblins apparently I've played it twice Goblins yeah, Goblins apparently uh, you bring in Timely and Wrath and <laughs> I'm going to make it, keep saying it, but Assemble the Legion is good at those matchups. So I, I did get asked the question of why not just play Assemble the Legion main. It's because it's not good main. It's bad game one, and it's bad game two. Because they're like, okay, so I need to deal with the first enchantments. And they just slam a five drop, and they're like, oh, great. But like, Affinity is the obvious six pieces of hate. No Assemble in that matchup. Well, I haven't played it since I added Assemble, to be fair. <laughs> Because sometimes you just don't play Affinity, and that's really weird. Uh, I'm just having to look at the other big decks in modern now, to be fair. Twin, was, how do you know. play? Twin, um, you resolve uh, a turn two suppression field, hopefully. And then another one. And, and it goes to, to prison. prison. <laughs> and they can't win. Yeah, like, you are twin first matchup. You have. Uh, I'm not, okay. So, out of all the decks in modern, I don't want to play against with this deck. It's Tron, Ad Nauseam, and Twin. Because Remand is a bitch. You sit down and you're like... But they're they... the worst from deck for you. It is, yeah. So, but the problem is that you try... So they're on the play, game two, probably, because you probably won game one. Uh, if they remind your suppression field, and then they remind your suppression field, you lose. Because you've just tried to play the same spell so many times. The idea is to build up a critical mass of enchantments. So Sphere just wins you the game. Well, it doesn't win you the game. Your opponent now can't win the game. Yeah. If you just never play an enchantment the first... I've, I've, I think in one game, I tried to play Ghost Deepers five times before my opponent didn't remand it. 
I, I just lost because all I've been trying to do was pick guys to prison. He looked like man's and getting ahead. And I was like, oh yeah, great. I had a suppression point in fact though. But yeah, twins, like Blue Red Delver, which apparently makes up 7% of this metagame now, is a fairly easy deck because they actually rely on burn to close the game out. And with young Pyromancer, if they can't target you, they either target their own creatures or themselves with burn. And they don't do that. They just sit there with a handful of burn spells when you actually play something. Um, mono red, covered, Minerva covered, jumped. Uh, Blue Eye Wreck Control, which you saw, uh, is a hard match. Because, yeah. although Suppression Field again is amazing in that matchup, when Colonnade starts to cost like 12 mana to activate, they can't actually win through damage. Which they try and do through burn, but you probably say like two or three times by then. They aren't built to deal with multiple enchantment, multiple of the same name, they're built to deal with one of each yeah. and then do it again. Storm, Simplest match I've ever. You just win the game because of Leyline. And then if they go to the MG the Warren's band, they probably can't attack you. Because you've probably landed a thing. And because and uh, Swan can... Song does not hit enchantments. Does it not? It's instant sorcery and artifacts. I know because I boarded them in and then my opponent Rule of Lord and I can get rid of it with a Swan Song. But I'm sure we were Swan Songed. We may have been I may be wrong. Um, if seems... I am, I do apologise. Although being in Theros, I'd be surprised if it wasn't in Charlie. Yeah, it's pretty quite true. It might be thinking, it might be artifacts I'm thinking of. Um, Green White Hay Bears is hard, but easy. If they get a Quasari Pride Mage against you, they, uh, like one or two of them, they can just beat you. Because they are just able to sit there flying up all your enchantments um, as they choose. An early Thalia can be quite difficult. Early Thalia, actually, early Thalia in this deck doesn't really matter because you're trying to play on curve as much as possible. So your two drops just go up a point. And if you have four three minutes in play, you really don't care about two one. It's probably dying. Yeah, Most of their creatures are two ones. Like that two seems axes. pretty good against Hate Burst. Um Tron uh, Murfolk is another one. It's a real tempo deck. And it can start screwing you on mana. If you're on mana light, which does happen, and they just start spreading season planes, you do lose. I have people spreading season Nyctos, which is just the last thing ever. Uh, that one very hurts. nice. Soul Sisters, which you saw is easy, Big Zoo is easy. Fairies is a problem. Because they can just tempo you forever yeah. with flash creatures and counter spells. Although eventually you can win that. Ad nauseum is literally one of my worst matchups. Gifts I've not played against them. Like, no, I have. They locked me by playing a turn five uh, Iona, Amy White, and I just you can't win at yeah. that moment. Uh, Mono Blue Tron is really easy. Mono Blue Tron. Because you just land a couple of early spells, and they actually you no, know, they like condescend a couple of spells. That's it. And thingy, uh, their main wing condition of Sundering Titan is much worse against you. Than oh yeah, they can kill the planes. Yeah, no. uh, and that's it. And they can kill their own island. Um, Amulet of Vigor is a deck I've played twice. And you win game one, and you lose game two and three. Because of Hive Mind. Ah. Like, if you can't stop Hive Mind resolving, like you have never it or something, you just lose. You physically can't win that game out. Because they're just going to pack in response to anything. Like, you play Nevermore and in response they will just pack. You're like, great. If I could stop them paying it, I'd be like, it like a Corey. Like, no, but you can't. Um, Eternal Command? I have never played online. Never played against it. Which doesn't surprise me. Living End is easy. You can just ask James. Uh, I tend to, because Sire, um, Suppression Field Effects Cycle. Yeah. And Rest in Pieces. Actually GG, because they can't really play White anymore. Uh, white, black, I'm guessing that's a thingy. Um, the white, black mid range deck, which is terrible. Boggles is as hard as you would expect if you don't have Porphyry Nodes, because it doesn't target. Does it not? No, it, it's a, just a flat out destruction. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just that's destroys hilarious. you. It does not target, so against Boggles, it is ridiculous. Uh, you get to sit there and just kill a dude. Uh, Blue White Tron, I have beaten. Infect is get Ghosty Prison, get Ghosty Prison, get Ghosty Prison. And hope they don't win. Yeah, nodes and prison. Nodes, suppression field, ruined halo, ghosty prison are your four best cards ever. Because you just ruined halo naming each one of their infect guys that they play. Goblins, as you saw, really easy. Team Italia is reasonably easy. It's just a traditional based mid range deck. Uh, eight rack is a deck I haven't played against online, but I imagine would actually give me some difficulty. Unless you land ley line. I know, even against ley line because of. Um, like if you land ley line into suppression field, yes. Because it has Liliana. I think you can beat just one Liliana. Um, yeah, but they also have the board have like Necro Mists and stuff to just make everyone discard, uh, which can hurt. Uh, I don't know what the white green aggro deck is. I'm guessing that is literally a pure aggro deck, so probably quite easy. Cruel Control can't beat you because they can't interact with a free ley line and they can't cruel automate me. 
<laughs> they, they literally true. can't do anything. Um, like I'm just looking like on here. There's not much um, anymore. Uh, take a landfall. Didn't know that was a deck. No. Uh, Nick's wave is really easy. Are you sure? Don't even know that existed. And Tesseract control eyes. Not played against online. But I imagine it's pretty fairly easy because it's a control deck that tries to damage you. The deck is fun to play actually. Like, so fun. everyone hates to play against you though. So much fun. If I, th you... I think that's why I enjoy it because I don't play card games to win. I don't play them to lose. I play them no. to ruin people's days. Yeah, this is a deck to do that with. If you want to go to a modern tournament, I, I'm trying to build this in real life so I can go play at a PTQ. Um, because <laughs> I, I just want to win. I want to win a PTQ and then have like the article. Like the, the deck list got featured somewhere. I just have this. I don't know what the hell do your deck do. It's like, it doesn't have my brand to play magic. Oh, you want to play magic? No, you don't get to. Um, but yeah, it's just a stupid deck that's fun to play. <laughs> it sounds stupid to say that. This deck is fun to play. You dirdle forever and your opponent can't do anything. But you don't dirdle forever because sometimes you just get those straws oh, and you go, sometimes you lay just line, lay it. line, lay line, turn three, nick those, and I'll go, yeah. if you If you do that and you've somehow drawn cards... Like, because you have emptied three cards from your hand to begin with. That's one of the problems with Ley Lines, is if you have models in your hand, you want them all in play for Devotion, for Nyctos and Heliod. And sometimes you don't because of Melted Pulse. <laughs> Ray, if you know you're playing against Jund in, like, game two, do not put all your Ley Lines into play. That is a very bad idea. Very bad. Because what's going to happen is on turn three, if you haven't never moored it, they're all going to your graveyard. And then their thoughts easing you, and positioning you, and everything else. Um... <laughs> I've had a Liliana against me be at 19 loyalty because he can't ulti or minus two. Well, it, it just can. sits there ticking. He can. can target himself. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't do that ever. I did have um, Hexproof. I can't remember what the effect was, but he couldn't target me. And then my opponent did ultimate Liliana and I had to walk him through. The you, fact that he was the only legal himself. target was himself. But. It's not good. Um, but yeah, this is a deck that if you want to ruin an entire playgroup's day play it you'll you'll enjoy it trust me but you have to like constantly be thinking playing on mid go means nothing because you don't care about the other people no you you actually it's not that it's remembering suppression field remembering prisons yeah. remember everything else because mid go tells you to do it in real life someone could very easily uh crack a fetch and then choose and say you're like oh you couldn't have done that i know competitive REO, you're not that's not happening anymore so you have to sit there and just be like uh Okay, you have to constantly be watching the board. If you think you're going to be tired when you start the day, play a different deck. Yeah. Be well rested, drink a lot, eat a lot, rest. Because my God, you're not going to be there for like after round four. If you don't start this like the day well, unless, against easy matchups, you're just going to pass. Unless, out. unless you play the daily, like unless you play like we did in daily, where no game took longer than seven minutes. No, if you're doing it that way, then yeah. But you need to go and rest after everything. It's horrible to play for long like, periods of time. I played a premier event with it and went like five two. I just missed top eight. And it's just like, I was dead. I could not have played that top eight. I would have gone to the top eight and be like, I can see it. <laughs> I, you can have the win. I just can't concentrate. I was so tired, but I just started playing and started doing very well. But the deck is absolutely fun to play, as Reese now knows. Yeah. But I think we'll probably be playing a different deck next week. Uh, I wonder what we're playing. We're so the Storm or Delver. <laughs> Wait! Nobody wants prison. Uh, nobody wants to see prison. Oh, I do kind of like the idea of watching you and Richard play Storm. Yeah, oh, you can vote when you get home. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it's been a lovely first Mitgo stream. <laughs> Even though we actually scrubbed. Oh, I don't want to play Storm of the Daily. <laughs> That's going to happen now. It's gonna be Storm. But thank you. You don't even have me, the season no, Storm player, to do it for you. Yeah. I've been playing Storm a lot online. I'll get some practice in. I'm going to go check the straw for like later this week. On like Sunday, I'll just play Storm all day. <laughs> then Delver will win and Bridget plays Delver. And, oh, God, that sounds terrible. No, don't vote. Just vote for like Prison and I can play that. Oh, but Richard can play Delver well, so you've got hope. <laughs> can he? Well, he plays it regularly. <laughs> but he plays like a very different. He plays like LSV's deck. I think like the stock Blue Red Double is because I don't want to buy a sword online. <laughs> it's so expensive. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, as always, it's been a very entertaining evening. Yeah. Of what? Did, when did we start? Like three, half three, four. We started like four, so we've been streaming for like five hours. I'm not about to go to work. Yeah, you have to go to work. <laughs> I've been at work all day. I'm going to go home and sleep. I'm going to go eat some pizza. Yeah. But yeah, thank you all very much. for Thank you all the people who've been in and out of the chat and the people telling us that our stream was really bad quality at that point because I've changed that now and that will all be different for next time. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, he's been Reese Kennedy. He's been George. 